America. In the early 50s, the post-war economic boost brought on an era of prosperity. Suburban life flourished, and a new generation was raised, the baby boomers. The time gave way for a shake in America's culture, and rock and roll was that sound. By the end of the decade, it changed the landscape of America. Meanwhile, a young trade organization, the Recording Industry Association of America, who formed in 1952, was molding its role in the music world. By the late 50s, they introduced their scale to measure the success of an album, the gold record. At the time, it was set for any album or single that reached a million dollars in sales and depicted the era when the first gold record was awarded on March 14, 1958. It wasn't given to rockers, but instead a 50-something Perry Combo for his jazz hit single, Catch a Falling Star. Gold record awards continued, and with advancements in technology, music sales flourished. In 1976, the RIAA changed its gold standard to 500,000 units sold and introduced platinum, awarded to hits with a sale of one million units. And come the late 90s, the diamond certification was added, awarded to hits that sold 10 million units.